Hi, I'm Scott Phillips. I'm a farmer from Missouri, and welcome to our farm. We're getting ready to look at a finishing barn. The finishing barn is where we move the pigs when they're 10 weeks old, about 45, 50 pounds. Uh, we move them into here and they stay in here until they're ready for market. Let's go look at the barns. Here we are inside the barn now. Today it's going to be a little over 100 degrees outside. And that is just really uncomfortable for people and it's real uncomfortable for the pigs. We ventilate the barn. The air comes in through one end of the barn and we have six fans at the other end of the barn that pull the air out and it creates a kind of a tunnel of air here. The important things we look at for a pig are that they have adequate water, adequate feed, and they have the proper environment. In every pen there's, there's four waterers. Uh, it's just the water like that, they just push the valve and they can drink water. We have the feeder right here and there's always feed in the feeders. All, um, always nice fresh feed in the feeders. 24 hours a day to the pig. In the feed we have corn, main energy source. We have soybean meal. We have uh, vitamins and minerals. And they're all balanced to meet the pig's daily nutritional needs of all the different vitamins, minerals, and proteins. What we try and absolutely do is minimize the use of antibiotics, period, across the whole farm. But in the finishing house, we don't use any antibiotics. If a pig gets sick, we do give it a shot of like penicillin. If we do that, then we move it over into our treatment pen. There's a pit below the barn here, and the manure drops down into the pit, and then we flush it away into a lagoon. Every day, we get into every barn and look at every pig. It's uh, it's the right thing to do. We want these pigs to have the best chance of survival and growing. We want them to be uh, without stress. We want them to be comfortable. And if they're stress-free and comfortable, then they, they don't get sick, they grow well, and they provide a good, healthy meat for the consumer which is what the objective is here. And because we raise them in barns like this, it's actually a safer meat. We don't have any concerns with parasites. We have lower concerns with diseases. It's a considerably better, safer meat than we've ever had in the United States or in the world before because of the way we do it now.